Greetings to all. So, the topic for the presentation is Global Submission of INT. So, the table of content includes preclinical investigation, introduction, resources for INT application, format of INT, types of INT application, content of INT application, and INT application submission. So, what is preclinical investigation? The testing of new drugs in humans cannot begin until there is solid evidence that the drug product can be used with reasonable safety in humans. This phase is called preclinical investigation. The goal of preclinical investigation is to assess potential therapeutic effects of the substance on living organisms and to gather sufficient data to determine reasonable safety of the substance in humans through laboratory experimentation and animal investigation. A preclinical investigation usually takes one to three years to complete. This is the pre-investigation flowchart. Now what is IND? First, the INT includes an investigation brochure that ensures that clinicians conducting the trial and their institutional review board, that is IRB, are adequately informed about possible effect of the drug. If the FDA accepts the INT request within 30 days of submission, clinical testing of a new molecule on human may begin by the investigator. If at any time during clinical testing, the data furnished to FDA indicate the IP to be toxic under the criterion of FDA's benefit or risk ratio, FDA can terminate clinical trial and its actions are not subject to any judicial review. The IND is the formal process by which a sponsor requests approval for testing of a new drug in humans. It includes information developed during preclinical testing regarding safety and effectiveness. A pre-IND meeting can be arranged with the FDA to discuss several issues which includes the testing of animal research which is required to lend support to the clinical studies. The intended protocol for conducting the clinical trial, the chemistry, manufacturing and control of the investigational drug. Now resources for IND application. There are two main resources required for IND application. First is pre-investigation new drug application consultation program and guidance documents for investigational new drugs. Pre-investigational new drug consultation program includes offered by CDER which stands for Center for Drug Evaluation and Research to foster early communications between sponsors and new drug review divisions in order to provide guidance on the data necessary to warrant IND submission. In guidance document, the documents are prepared for FDA review staff and applicants or sponsors to provide guidelines to the processing content and evaluation or approval of applications and also the design production, manufacturing and testing of the regulated products. Next is format of IND application. First, it includes cover sheet which is form FDA 1571 which includes name, address, telephone, number of sponsor. Next is commitment not to begin CT until INT approval commitment by IRB that is form 56 commitment for conducting CT accordance with regulations name title monitor name title person for reviewing 
name address of CRO if any signature of sponsor is required. B is table of contents. Next, introductory statement of general investigational plan, investigational brochure, study protocol, investigative facilities and IRB data, chemistry manufacturing and control data, pharmacology and toxicology data and previous human experience. All these comes under the format of INT application. Next is types of IND. First is investigational IND, emergency IND, and treatment IND. So investigator IND is submitted by physicians who both initiates, conducts, an investigation and under whose immediate direction the investigational drug is administered or dispensed. In emergency use IND, it allows the FDA to authorize use of an experimental drug in an emergency situation that does not allow time for submission of an IND in accordance with Section 21 CFR, Section 312.23 or Section 312.20. Next is treatment IND. It is submitted for experimental drugs showing promise in clinical testing for serious or immediately life-threatening conditions while the final clinical work is conducted and the FDA review takes place. The IND application must contain information in three broad areas. These areas are animal pharmacology and toxicology studies, manufacturing information, clinical protocols and investigator information. So in animal pharmacology and toxicology studies, an assessment as to whether the product is reasonably safe for initial testing in humans, any previous experience with the drug in humans. Manufacturing information, it includes composition, manufacturer, stability and controls used for manufacturing the drug. Clinical protocols and investigator information includes commitments to obtain informed consent from the research subject, to obtain review of the study by an institutional review board and to adhere to the investigational new drug regulations. Next is IND application submission process. So this is the flowchart showing how we can submit an IND information application. So first the applicant or the drug sponsor files an IND which is reviewed by CDER, Center for Drug Evaluation and Research. The CDR reviews the medicinal, chemistry, pharmacological or toxicological and statistical data of the investigational new drug which is reviewed for the safety. If the safety is acceptable for study to proceed, it further goes for complete reviews. If the review is complete and acceptable and contains no deficiencies, then study is ongoing. If the safety acceptable for study to proceed is has any deficiency, it leads to chemical hold decision and it is notified to the sponsor. FDA review to IND. When we submit the IND application, the FDA reviews. So when it reviews, the outcomes can be once the IND is stamped as received, it is sent to the review division within CDER. On arrival at the review division, it is critically evaluated by several reviewers of biopharmaceutics, chemistry, medical and statistics and microbiology, pharmacology or toxicology sections. So all these sections reviews the IND. All these 
reference areas review the data submitted with the primary purpose to ensure safety of the individual enrolled in the study. Once as an IND submitted, the study can't be initiated until a period of 30 days. If there are any major issues relating to the safety of the volunteers in the proposed study, the, I, the FDA can institute a clinical hold. Thank you.